Hello everybody! In this video, I'll tell you how to connect two monitors to one computer and why it can be done. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery, and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialists will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. Windows 10, 8 and 7 allow using several monitors thanks to built-in system options and without any third-party software. Many people use several monitors with one computer. It makes their work simpler and more effective. Why use only one monitor when you can use two or more and see more information at once without extra actions? Additional monitors allow making the desktop wider and open more program windows. An additional monitor makes you forget about using the Alt-Tab shortcut and look at another window by just looking at another screen. So, how can we do it? Let's begin. To connect several monitors, you should first make sure that your computer supports such an option. Most new computers have more than one display connector, and these can be DVI, HDMI and DisplayPort or the good old VGA. Look at the back panel of the computer and find them. Now that you know that your PC supports connecting several monitors, you can connect them at the same time. To do it, just stick the cables into corresponding outputs and window windows will extend the desktop automatically. Now you can just drag program windows between the monitors. If it didn't happen and both monitors show the same image, you can fix the problem quickly by pressing the key shortcut Windows plus P. And a side panel will appear, where you can select the options. You should select Extend to make the desktop wider. Sometimes, in case with old monitors, the operating system may fail to set up the other monitor automatically. To set the devices manually, right-click on the desktop, choose Display Settings and click on Detect, then on Identify, and you will see the number of each monitor shown on the display. Number 1 is your main monitor. You can drag the other monitor where you like, to the right or to the left. Click Apply to save the changes. You can click on every connected display and select the corresponding scaling, which can be useful if one of the devices can support a higher resolution and the other can't. In Windows 10 and 8, you can select various orientations of the display, for example, when you need to change the picture's position. In the Multiple Displays section, you can choose how to use the display in the mode PC Screen Only, Duplicate, Extend or Second Screen Only. These are the same settings you get when you press Windows plus P shortcut. You can also select which display will be the primary one. Select the one you need in the upper part of the window and below check the option Make this my main display in the Multiple Displays section. Windows 8 and 10 also allow you extending the taskbar on several monitors. To enable this function, open Settings, Personalization, Taskbar and check the option Show Taskbar on all displays. As you can see, the taskbar is now shown on the other display as well. By pressing Windows plus P shortcut and setting the duplicate mode, you can get the double picture on both displays. It is very convenient for presentations when you duplicate your laptop screen on a large monitor. In the mode PC screen only, the primary monitor will show the picture and the mode second screen only does the same but with the secondary monitor. 
If you want to set up different wallpapers for each monitor, right-click on the desktop and select Personalize. Select a photo, right-click on it, and choose the monitor for which this wallpaper should be set – number 1 or 2. If the necessary wallpaper is not on the list, click Browse and specify the folder where it is, select the one you need and click on Choose Picture. After that, it will appear in the Choose your picture section. If in Windows 10 you right-click on the picture and you still don't see the choice of monitors, there is one command to use. It's quite easy to do. Press the key shortcut Windows plus R and type in the following. You can find this command in the description below the video. After you type it, press Enter. After that, choose the necessary picture and right-click on it to see a menu to select the monitor, to which this picture should be assigned. In this manner, you can set up the first, the second and all other pictures, depending on how many monitors you are going to use. Unfortunately, Windows 7 doesn't have built-in tools to solve this task. You will have to use additional software to set up various new tools.